Here in Lubbock, Texas Tech is leading the way in wind research. All of our metal products and our doors are tested at Texas Tech. Brian Evans started selling storm shelters 17 years ago. We've actually beefed things up. You know, we've had this particular door on this safe room tested twice. Storm shelters come here, the National Wind Institute, to be tested at the Debris Impact Facility. They're the leading entity for storm door testing. Researchers are using this cannon right here to test the impact that tornadoes have when debris is hitting your home. The man behind the force of air Three, two, one. blasting out of the pneumatic cannon is research assistant professor Larry Tanner. What we do, there is a, an air tank back there. We'll put the, the pressure that we need to drive the missile the speed that we want. Coming up with that speed wasn't easy. Years and years ago, it was considered that the, a tornado was about the, the uh, speed of sound. Which is about 600 miles per hour. That's kind of crazy. And after the 1970 tornado in Lubbock. So they started looking at structures that had failed, beams and things like that. They could back calculate and could determine what kind of wind speed it took to uh, cause those failures. After years of research, they came up with 200 miles per hour. The 15 pound two by four became the debris of choice. Think that doesn't sound scary? At EF5 speeds, think again. The debris knocks out windows, knocks out doors, uh, punctures, uh, you know, roof systems. Without the proper shelter, you'll be caught out in the open with debris just like this. The above ground shelter concept, as I said, was developed at Tech. Researchers found inner closets like these were many times the only thing left in a pile of rubble. So they modeled the above ground shelters after this. We found no fatalities. We found no uh, damaged or failed above ground shelters no fatalities or injuries in below ground shelters. We did see some doors blown off. So Texas Tech worked with FEMA to form codes to make all shelters even better. Oh, we've got a big deadbolt system. FEMA guidelines require tough hinges and three locking latches. Secure enough to withstand this impact. Just knowing that you've done something to help somebody, save somebody, uh, makes a big difference.